has consistently delivered stellar strong quarters. So, Morris, what's behind this growth and what's going to keep the company going? Uh, the company's uh, grown organically as well as through acquisition and what fuels that growth is the amazing talent that, that underlies the company. Uh, we have consistent management. Uh, we've been doing this for many years. It's, it's a team that operates as a unit, yet they're independent in their operating style and um, uh, the company's on growth mode and has been for a good seven years. Your license business is a big part of the company. What is the strongest license within that franchise? Well, clearly the most important piece of our portfolio is the Calvin Klein brand. We license it in many classifications and through that classification, uh, through that license, uh, the licenses that we, we have with PVH, uh, we've created dominance in many different sectors of business. Coats, uh, dresses, uh, now sportswear and performance wear, and soon to be um, uh, an important piece of our business in handbags. Uh, we, you know, we have a great relationship with the brand and the company that owns the brand. And your cotton prices, cotton seems to have stabilized. Is that helping you? Yes, it has. Uh, our margins have improved. Uh, our ability to buy more competitively overseas has really helped our, uh, our margin enhancements. So, yes, uh, the clear answer is. Has the healthcare mandate affected your company at all? Pretty much anything that takes dollars out of the consumer's pocket is going to affect us. If, if the consumer is under pressure to, to, to pay rent and buy food, her spend in, in fashion apparel is going to be less. So, you know, to that effect, it, it will have an impact there on our business. And I presume also the higher taxes yes. on the payroll taxes? Same story. It's, it's, uh, this, the spend is affected the same way. What trends are you seeing in the, in the shopping from consumers right now? They're buying fashion. Uh, the core basics come later. They're more utility, but uh, as you, you know, prove that you're correct on the fashion side, whether it's color or style, uh, the, the consumer is out there and is radiated to a, a new style every season. You recently made an acquisition of a luxury company, Vilbercon. Does that mean that that is a more stable, steady client, that luxury client? It's uh, not, not as stable as one might think. It's stable seasonality. Uh, the, price point, the, the price point of the swimwear at Vilbercan is, is quite high. Retails are anywhere from $200 to $700. So to say that it's stable and anybody can do it is really not true. Uh, the, the international market is, is a fan of the brand. Today, the Brazilian market is very active in buying it, the Russian market. Where there's affluence, there's a demand for the brand. 2013, what is your outlook? Are you feeling positive or are you a little concerned? We're optimistic. We have many different areas of business. Uh, we have areas of business that you know, support the needs of a Walmart, and we have areas that you know, go to Bergdorf Goodman. So um, we, we believe, and they're all important areas, um, and we believe that this will be a good year for us and not necessarily a good year for, for the fashion industry or for consumer products. You know, we are um, we're a strong company that's able to produce, uh, produce the right product at the right price and uh, can correct the path very quickly. We operate as a small company and we're not classified as a small company. Anymore. So that is an advantage.